Good morning, guys. How are you? And I've been gone for a while. Hope everybody's doing okay. Today is Sunday, January 16th. And just taking it easy today. I went out and um, ran out to get a few things that I needed. And of course, um, I did pretty good. I went out to Target. <laughs> Normally, when you go out to Target, uh, you get things that you don't need yeah <laughs> um but of course i'm actually eating my breakfast now it's like 11 o'clock in the morning but i'm eating breakfast now which is my little go-to bagel and of course with the target run i had to have my caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino mm -mm, it's so delicious let me tell you guys i was a dunking a uh, donut girl for a long time until so someone um, that I follow on YouTube and also here on, Insta uh, on Instagram um, is at the life of Kiara. Um, she recommended this and I went and tried it and I've been loving it ever since. It's really good, but it is really sweet. It's, it's too sweet, I, I would say, but it's actually good. Um, so I normally get it with uh, coconut milk. A shot of espresso and of course they add the whipped cream and the crunch on top and all of that stuff um, so it's a caramel ribbon crunch with coconut milk and one shot of espresso and of course you can add the whipped cream or if you don't want the whipped cream but um, however you like it but it's so good this is I normally I normally drink coffee in the morning and not every day I don't I try not to drink coffee every day um, but this is the only one that I would actually drink like in the evening or or any time during the day because it's more like a treat, I would say. Um, but it's so good. Anyway, guys, um, don't mind me, I'm going to eat while I talk to you because I'm really hungry. Like I said, I ran out and didn't eat breakfast just to kind of get these things. Um, yeah, so basically... I guess life has just been happening, the kids and um, those who don't follow me or don't know, I have uh, five kids, four of them that are still at home and one of them uh, already moved out on his own. And I'm excited to say that I'm gonna go uh, see him really soon. Um, my oldest son lives in Florida and I'm gonna see him really, really soon. And I'm so excited to go out there, like I said in previous videos, or um, Florida is my home away from home. I love going out there. The vibe is just <laughs> different from where I'm living at right now. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to go out there. I'm only going just for a few days. I'm going out there just to see, you know, his, you know, where he's living at and make sure everything is okay and just spend a few days out there with him. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to do that soon. And um, it's just been home, working from home and um with the kids and all of that stuff and you know those things um take priority over you know everything it's time consuming of course you already know when you have kids they take up a lot of your time you with the school work things that you have to do at home cook clean all that stuff um yeah so nothing exciting has been happening for me to really record for you guys that's why i haven't been on here for a while um i know some people enjoy um i guess seeing people's lives day by day but nothing really has been going on i've just been working from home as i said um cleaning cooking <laughs> taking care of kids dog all of that husband um and that's about it oh my uh, christmas one i for christmas it went well we stayed home for the holidays we didn't really go anywhere of course because you know what's going on in the world <laughs> you can't go not even from here to the corner because you already got it so it's been going around and all that other stuff i'm not gonna mention it you know what i'm talking about um but yeah, we stay home for the holidays. I went and picked up my mom um, from New York and brought her over. Um, 
and she spent a week with us here she spent christmas with us we cooked for christmas um eve and christmas day um so nobody really came over um because of what's going on and um and that's it and for new then i took my mother back and then for new years we just stayed home as well another boring new years <laughs> we ever i haven't been out for new year's eve in so many years like it's it just the holidays just doesn't feel the same as they used to before when i was growing up like people used to do the house parties and you know everybody would gather together and just dance and spend and the excitement of the new year yeah that's not happening i haven't been to a new year's eve party or even gathering and who knows how long it's, i think it's been oh my gosh it's been i'm gonna say more than 15 years ago who knows maybe more than 20 years ago that's that's kind of crazy <laughs> i'm hoping to maybe this year depending on what's going on with the world um let's make it a little more exciting like do something else you know it's like that's the time when you even though every day you should be positive and happy and looking forward to the next day but it's like a start of a new year the beginning of a new year that you should you know want to do different bring it in with joy and happiness and excitement so we'll see what happens with that but we have a long time before that happens what else um yeah, like I said, nothing exciting or special has happened. We've all been home. Two of my kids are in basketball this season. Which, it's my, my, my youngest son and my oldest daughter have both um, are in basketball. My daughter hasn't really played games much because... People have been getting, you know, sick and people had to be on quarantine. So, you know, they've canceled games and all that other stuff. The other team, it's just crazy. So she hasn't been able to really play the games much, but she has been practicing, going to practices. So that's kind of sucky for the kids that, you know, we sign them up to do these things and Sometimes they can because somebody has to quarantine, somebody's sick. So, if one person from the team has it, they want everyone to quarantine and they can't play the games. And it's just a whole whatever. This thing has really affected our lives, everyone's lives, <clears throat> which is sad. It's, I would have never thought that I would be living through these times, but god knows you know just i guess leave it into god's hands and we just gotta go through it hopefully i'm praying to god that this thing just dies down i know we're gonna live with it for the rest of our lives most likely but i'm just <laughs> ready for it to die down and not be a pandemic anymore <sighs> anyway oh I'm going to show you my little mini haul from Target, which I didn't get too many things because Target was not going to leave me broke. Because <laughs> you go over there for one thing and then you come back with other stuff. It wasn't much. I didn't, I didn't buy too many things. So I went over there for hair products and paper towels, which the paper towels are downstairs. I'm not going to go downstairs to get them. They're the... Up, is it up and up brand? It's a Target brand. They were eight ninety nine for a roll of, I think it's six. But anyway, I went over there for hair products. Um, oh, and I bought some vitamins for me. I'm such a bad pill taker. Like I do not like taking pills. I mean, I'll take them if I have to, but especially the vitamin pills, I do not like them. They're like this big <laughs> I don't like them um so I got these for myself 
These are the Vita Fusion Women's Daily Multivitamin. They're supposed to come with 150. I don't know if you can see, but they added uh, extra gummies in it. 14 extra, so it's 164. And I think these were like $10 and change, almost $11 at Target. I'm going to try them and see. I know some gummies don't taste good, but we will see. <laughs> Um, I bought these because, uh, I don't know, they say they're gluten-free, no high fructose corn syrup, no dairy, no synthetic FD and C dyes and all that other stuff. So we'll see. The only thing that this, these gummies I noticed that they don't have is iron in them. Normally when I buy multivitamins, I get the one that has iron in them. I'm not, um, low on iron or anything. But I don't know, I just like to have all of that in there. Um, I haven't taken vitamins in a very long time. I actually have um, the pill ones, which <laughs> they've been there for a while. I was taking them and then I just stopped taking them. So um, I decided to get the gummies, which they do say that the pill form is much more effective than gummies. I don't know. And then the gummies have sugar in them, regardless of how much you want to get like natural stuff. They do have um, sugar. They add three grams of sugar. So we will see. This is for energy, metabolism, which I need some energy, bone and immune support. You know, as you get older, <laughs> your bones, you know, so you need some, some, but they have all sorts of stuff in there. They have good stuff like the vitamin D, C, A, B12, Folic acid, biotin, calcium, zinc, all of that stuff. So let's see. I'll, I'll tell you how they taste. Um, as a matter of fact, let me try them and I'll let you know. Let's, say, let's do a taste test. Come on. All right. Okay, so they come packaged. Oh, I guess they come. Uh oh. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay, so wait. So it says adults take two gummy vitamins per day. Chew thoroughly before swallowing. <laughs> I read that at the store. I'm like, mm, do they actually taste good? But we'll see. So I'll take this one. They're not bad. And I'll get the grape one. They're not bad. So looking at them, those those two colors that I just showed you are the main colors in here. They don't have any other colors. They're not bad. Let's see. Gives me some energy. <laughs> All right. Besides that, I bought um brush for one of my daughters because I bought her the dollar brush from Dollar Tree. Those things are garbage. <laughs> As I was combing her hair, this part came out. No good. Cheap stuff sometimes is no good. Um, and I don't even know why I bought it because I think I have bought those before and they have broken off too. So this is the Conair Soft Touch Grip Detangle and Style. So it's the Conair brand. It seems to be strong. We'll see. If I like it, I'll buy two more because um, I have three girls. So I bought this one for my little one. And if I like it, I'll buy for the other two. Um, so I bought Shea Moisture products for my daughter's hair. Um, my daughters are mixed and they have really, really curly hair. Um, it gets, it, they, they, their hair gets dry, really curly and tangled and all of that. 
my hair as you can see <laughs> i always have flyaways <laughs> i've always had that even though as much as hairspray and everything i put they eventually you know stick up and all that stuff and um my hair is also dry like when i first wash my hair and after it dries that thing just goes poof <laughs> and it's so dry you know it doesn't look that much too dry now but yeah and i do have to cut it i have to i haven't been to the salon in a while so i have to cut my hair my ends i'll probably do layers again i'm not sure and i have to you know do some hair coloring because you know i don't know if you can see but i have a little of the uh you know white hairs there so i gotta do that before i go on my trip and, you know mom gotta look hip and young <laughs> but uh yeah i we have an issue everyone here with dry hair and i know that some chemicals in the shampoos that we buy that are out there in the drugstores that are very um popular has all these chemicals in it that is really not good for your hair um so yeah i'm trying to find a good shampoo and conditioner that doesn't have all that junk in it but anyway this is what I, I bought for the hair. Um, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing, moisturizing Detangler. Um, I don't know if I ever used this before. I don't remember if I used it before. I might have. Um, but I haven't used it in a while. And I do need something for like when I'm doing their hair. Um, it's not wet and it's dry and stuff. And... I gotta redo it and brush it or something to kind of wet it and detangle it. I normally spray water from a water bottle and then put some type of cream and then brush it and style it. But water, as I've heard, just plain water in your hair just all the time. It's not good for your hair. It, it kind of damages it too if you don't put anything in it. So I'm gonna try this for, you know, when I'm gonna brush their hair on a daily basis um this i've never used this particular um moisturizer it's a coconut and hibiscus again curl and style milk with silk protein and neem oil it, it's supposed to moisturize and curl define thick curly hair so it says here that you can where's the directions applies a no rinse moisturizer and styling cream to damp towel dried hair as needed so basically when i wash their hair um and after they come out of the shower i'm going to because i normally detangle each like i part their hair and detangle like section by section because like i said my girls have a lot of hair especially my older one it's a lot she has thick really curly hair <laughs> so i have to part it and lift bits and sections of it i have to detangle it with the brush and all that she hates it she's very tender headed but it has to get done um so i'll probably use this i was using some other one that i use on my hair but everything doesn't work on everybody's hair so i'm gonna try this one i've never tried this particular um moisturizer so we'll see i'll let you guys know and the last but not least that i got is this i put on my instagram story just a little while ago asking everyone if they've used these products i remember buying this brand and i didn't like it but it wasn't this in particular it was something it was a little different than this i guess it was the older products that they had I guess this one is a little bit newer. I've never used this kind. Um, so it's a Maui Moisture Hair Care Heal and Hydrate plus Shea Butter Conditioner and then the shampoo for dry damaged hair. It's supposed to soften, quench, and repair. So it has creamy shea butter, rich coconut oil, and pure macadamia oil, silicone free. And it's free of mineral oil, silicone, parabens, gluten, all that other stuff, I can't, it's sulfated, surf, what, surfactant, whatever. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm looking for stuff that's, because I have all these damaging chemicals. 
to put in our hair. So what I'm gonna do is, today's Sunday, as I said, I normally um, wash their hair on Sundays and get it ready you know, for school the next day, but because the kids are off tomorrow, tomorrow is Martin Luther King Jr. birthday, a holiday, they're off from school, so I'll probably wash their hair tomorrow so they can have it ready for Tuesday. But I'm gonna use it today, and I'll let you know, I'll probably post it on my story time um, on Instagram how good is how good are they like how did it leave my hair um it really smells good though <laughs> i actually looked it up on target's website before i even grabbed it off the shelf to see what people said about it like what the ratings were so a lot of people gave it good ratings um it smells really good but of course you can't go by smells because sometimes things smell really good and it doesn't mean it's good for your hair it'll make your hair smell good but it doesn't mean it'll actually leave your hair healthy and you know the way it's supposed to or the way it says it's supposed to oh but it smells really good like it, it smells like shea butter it smells so good so we will see oh, it smells so good um what i've been using for my daughter's hair is um i forgot the name of that shampoo and conditioner Oh my gosh it has chemicals and stuff in it and a lot of people use it Fr fructis that's the name of the name brand of it i've been using that and mm, it's it's okay like it, it'll leave it it smells good it'll it'll it, it's not too bad like you know it'll leave it okay but then once your hair gets dry once again <laughs> It's just, it has chemicals and stuff in it. So I just, alcohol and all that stuff in it. So I just don't really want to use those things anymore. Um, so we'll see. I use L'Oreal, um, Vive. And I've been using that for years. And it's okay, but like I said, I still notice that even after I wash, like, my hair, like, I try to put cream and stuff. I put cream after I wash my hair and stuff to kind of moisturize a little bit more. But it still leaves my hair dry. So, yeah, I'm going to try something different. So, sorry. I had to actually get up and go uh, see what the kids were fighting about over there. So, I had to little, do a little controlling. <laughs> anyway so yeah well that was what i bought from target um i didn't do too much damage so i'm proud of myself <laughs> i did order stuff last night at, um from there but it was a couple of things that i needed for my trip um and i kind of needed those things like pajamas and thing you know just things like that um but I did pretty good. <laughs> Normally, I try not to go to Target or Walmart or any of those places too often. Um, and I do try to have self-control when I go in there. You know, I'm, what I do is I'll make a list on a piece of paper or on my phone and go directly to that. <laughs> I go and go off my list, go get those things and run out. The only damage I do is sometimes is, you know, they have the starbucks instead of target i might get one of these sometimes i don't do it i don't, I don't do it every time i go to target and get one of these because you know a lot of sugar and you don't need all of that in your body um and i'll get the kids i also got the kids like the cake pops they like the chocolate one and the brownie so that was it but man starbucks <laughs> If you're a Starbucks lover and you buy coffee from there every day, it's good, but yeah, it'll empty out your pockets because if you start adding up, this drink alone, I think costs about maybe $7. I'm not too sure. $7? Because when you start adding the, all the extra stuff, the coconut milk, the one shot of espresso, even the whipped cream, they'll freaking add, I don't know how much for each thing you customize it they add um money to it so normally this drink costs i think it's five dollars and change it came it comes out to seven something because of all the extra stuff i added 
you know what seven dollars every day that's a lot of money we start adding it per week per month it's just too much um so i buy it once in a while i've tried to make iced coffee at home but it doesn't quite taste the same i'm probably not using the correct stuff so that's why when i'm in the mood to do iced coffee like i'll go and grab one of these um i did stop going to dunkin donuts because every time i go there they don't make it right it has to be a specific person that i know that works there to make my stuff right but yeah i barely go to dunkin donuts anymore i just was very disappointed they weren't making my stuff right I used to like the ice, just the regular iced coffee. They would screw it up. Either they would put too much um, cream in it or the coffee didn't taste right itself. I, I, yeah, I just stopped going there. Not to say that Starbucks is a mess up because I have gotten maybe a couple of these that wouldn't taste that great or they didn't make, mix it right. Um, I guess it also depends on the person that works there, you know, and you know how experienced they are and how they make it. Um, but yeah, stop going to Dunkin' Donuts. If I go there it's to get like maybe donuts for the kids or if it's like a breakfast sandwich, maybe. But I don't buy hot coffee there. When I want hot coffee, I make it at home because I, you know, I have a Keurig coffee maker and the French vanilla creamer and it tastes very good. I don't um go there. It's only if I want iced coffee that I'll run out excuse me and go to starbucks so yeah that's about it um like i said nothing else has been going on for me to report to you guys <laughs> it's the daily stuff if you guys have a topic for me to talk about um, or anything you guys would want like to see. I know I've gotten um, a lot more views on my videos where I'm talking about moving to Pennsylvania and the neighborhood and what it's like living here. If you want an update on that, I can do another video about that. Um, if there's something in particular you guys want to see here in Pennsylvania um let me know comment down below and let me know okay um so once again um since i'm going to my trip to go see my son to florida i will be traveling alone so um i won't be that much distracted because <laughs> i'm flying alone so i'm going to try to you know recording my trip out there and things like that so you know you guys can see um the areas and stuff like that where i'll be in i'm gonna be in central florida um and like i said i'm just going for a few days just to you know like a quick trip um just to spend some time with him out there um i did see him in um ending of october um yeah, like about around October he came. Um, so I did see him a couple of months ago. But uh, it's, uh, well, he actually came here now that I went over there, but he, he flew out here. Um, so, but I'm excited to go out there. I'm excited to be um, my home away from home. <laughs> the palm trees, even the weather out there's a little cold and chilly right now, but nonetheless it's not as cold as it, as it is here let me tell you today is very cold <laughs> it's in the single digits oh my gosh uh, i don't like the cold weather even as many years i i was born and raised out here in the no up north and i still i just don't like the cold weather but anyway we're expecting a snowstorm i don't think it's gonna be that bad maybe one to three inches Hopefully not more than that um, tonight, so into tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. But that's okay. In a few weeks, I'll be, you know, in the sunshine state. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to let you off here. Where's my little thing here? I lost it. I lost it. Where's my... Okay. <laughs> all right. 
so i'll talk to you guys later and like i said comment down below let me know if there's anything any videos or anything you guys want me to talk about whether it's about pennsylvania where i live about me my family i don't know what kind of vlogs or videos you guys want me to record uh, i know a lot of people like the cleaning videos my issue is that when i clean <laughs> i'm just i'm moving i'm moving i'm moving i'm cleaning i'm yeah moving fast um but if you want to see that that's fine um anything else kid wise any i guess tips about having a big family i can talk about that too how i deal with having you know multiple kids and what my routine is and how i got that down pack i can talk about that too all right guys so i will see you until the next video